Hi, I'm John Hodgson. I'm a freelance illustrator from the UK. This is a video I'm putting together to show art rage in action as well as a bit about my process. I'm going to crack right on enough with the preamble. Okay, so I've got a sketch here. This is for a cover of a role playing game. It's going to be split into three parts. That doesn't really concern us too much here. What I'm going to show you is just a basic layout of the interface and some early stages of what I would do to make a painting using ArtRage. So what I've got is this sketch I've done, it's just line work. Um, it's fairly loose at the moment, it's showing a kind of chasm with lots of uh, ruined, these are going to be kind of Egyptian ruins, classical ruins, it, uh, almost like the uh, Valley of the Kings in Egypt. Um, what I want to do is, oh I've got the sketch, sorry I'm jumping ahead, I've got the sketch, I've overlaid this texture which was scanned from real paintings, done a bit of cloning, you can see the top the top texture mirrors the bottom texture, but this is all just, just the, the very basics of what's going to lie underneath. It just breaks up the white page so that I can focus on tone and colour without having a big load of white paint blazing at my eyes. So a handy feature in ArtRage is uh, tracing images. So uh, I've got my tracing panel open here, you can get that by view and tracing panel. And what I'm going to do is load a tracing image and I'm actually going to, what I'm going to do, this is a cunning little trick, I shouldn't be giving these tricks away but hey, I'm nice like that, is I'm going to open exactly the same image as I'm working on as a tracing image. So there it is, now it's greyed out the image slightly because it's still, the tracing image is, is visible, I can change the opacity of it it's like the same image on a piece of tracing paper. I just want it invisible, but I don't need to see the tracing because I'm not actually going to be tracing in the regular sense of the word, like copying lines. What I'm doing is I'm going to be picking colors from my tracing image. Now you can see the normal color picker here says using trace color. Now every time I put down a brush, it will take color from the tracing image, the same place on the tracing image. Now because I've cunningly used the same image as my tracing image, it's just going to pick colors from the from what's there. So what this means is I can put in all my brush strokes that I want to put in, break up all the lines. I don't want lines in my painting, they're just a guide. Break them up using the colors that are there very, very easily. I don't have to pause to, to uh, pick up color from the color picker. I don't have to take any decisions, I can just concentrate on my marks and I'm using my marks to show the forms. I've got a heavy impasto in the oil brush, we'll talk about that maybe in another video if I get a chance, but it, it creates quite a graphic mark, it's got those striated lines simulating bristles through paint, but they're great, they, they have a graphic function that I can follow the form of, of these rocks around them, showing them in space without having to be concerned about my colours. I'm happy with the colours as they stand from this texture. And it's just automatically picking those for me. Not a unique feature to art programmes, but certainly a very accessible one, like, like everything in ArtRage. You know, it's, it's inexpensive and very accessible. So there we go, I'm just building it up. And it gives me that lovely range of colours that, that occur in, in natural media. I'm not, you see, uh, a lot of digital artists can, a lot of, some digital artists, certainly when, when first using digital media, can be totally overwhelmed by the choice. And you don't have any of the inbuilt discipline that comes with having to mix colours yourself. And the time that comes in doing that. And, uh, the process itself can guide you, whereas with digital media, we just have an infinite amount of choices, and that's not, not necessarily a good thing. It is in some instances, but not always. So this, just using a natural media texture with a range of colours that I like, it's really going to help. And I'm just going to keep doing this, building up until I pretty much covered the whole surface actually. I might leave some areas 
as they are. But I do like to, you know, work the whole canvas. <laughs> 